Good morning guys, it's not even morning, it's afternoon. Welcome to a new M Weekly. So this isn't how today's vlog was meant to start. Oh my god, look at me. Um, so I went to bed last night and I think it was, well, 100% fine. And then I kept waking up in the middle of the night and I was really hot, like so hot. And then this today has basically been spent, me being sick all day. And I've not actually been sick physically apart from self-inflicted alcohol when I was at uni, like through illness for like a solid 10 years. So we had to drive to London um, because I have an event tonight. I had to cancel my meetings, but I have an event tonight and Matt has like a really important meeting that he can't miss. So we somehow drove to London. I had to stop off so I could throw up at the side of the car. Note to self, do not work through illness. Um, I've just been for a two hour nap and I woke up, I think I feel okay. But now I'm talking, I don't know if I feel okay. I don't know. So it's a Vita Coco summer party and I promised like months ago that I'd go and I promised that I wouldn't not come. And I've literally only booked this hotel and paid for it so I could come. So I'm going to try and put some makeup on. I'm just going to go minimal. They're doing an amazing yoga session to start the event, which I've politely said, is it okay if I don't do it? Because I just, I walked earlier and the movement of walking made me sick. So I'm just going to give that a miss. I'm just going to sit on a comfy sofa. I hope that I'm going to be okay. I don't know what's wrong with me. So yeah, I'm going to quickly do my makeup, which I really don't have the energy to do. But let's do this. It's typical. It's just the busiest week ever i don't know if my body's just telling me that i've got a virus or my body's telling me to slow down but always happens on the busiest week right let's go <laughs> i probably stay wow my stomach is not feeling the best. You're probably watching this thinking, Em, you're crazy. Why are you going to an event? But I feel like I hate letting people down. And when I've paid for a hotel and promised I'd go somewhere. <laughs> right, I'm gonna go. So I sat in the corner and I feel so sweaty. I've got ice on my head. Coffee cups and cigarettes laying around the room. motivation and stress to get out of bed today which you didn't have yesterday so that's good so this one is driving we've just been sat in gridlock traffic because that's always what happens when we need to get somewhere last time we came to this side of england it was for carly rowena's wedding and it took us like eight hours in traffic to get here 
um, and we're an hour late to where we're going because again the traffic wasn't on our side but as long as we arrived safely that's what matters so um, I'm heading to a really nice stay over like a 24 hour thing with Elemis now I'm so glad I feel like I can actually string a sentence together today the poor people I was talking to last night at the event I just thought I'm either going to throw up on you or pass out which ain't fun and it just is an uncomfortable feeling like that so yeah hopefully I'll feel better at this event we're checking into a place called Wilderness Reserve and I think it's just gonna be like a really chilled 24 hours with facials and I don't really know what we're doing like a learning experience with Elemis I actually used my Elemis collagen cleansing balm last night so um, I'm keen to have some nice Elemis cleansing in my life when I've not been feeling too well although I think there's some workouts and you guys know I love my workouts but I might have to skip those bits just because um, I don't know if I'm 100% so we're driving in the Range Rover Velar which is really exciting did want to show you this when it arrived but that was the day I was being sick basically if any of you guys have followed it for a while you'll know that I actually bought my car from Stratstone I went to the one in Leeds my car before that I also bought from Stratstone and then my brother bought his car from Stratstone did my mum get her car from Stratstone as well do you think? I can't remember what she said uh, she did. Sure. I'll find I out. Don't. I'll find out. But my brother definitely got his and I got my last two. So Stratosone kindly got in touch and asked if we'd like to use a Range Rover for any events or anything coming up. And we were like, oh my god, yes, we're driving so many miles this week. So they've kindly loaned us the Range Rover Velar, which is our favourite car, isn't it? Yeah, absolutely love it. We really want one. We've got the sports version. So I will give you a little tour and show you that once we pull up. It's just the nicest car. It's such a beast. It's just I did an Instagram story saying, Oh, answer something you don't know about me. And I was like, Oh, I actually love cars, but it's something I don't talk about. So Stratson emailed and we're like, we know you like cars. Um, which is really nice because I'm already a very ooh, organic, it's so fast, organic fan of cars anyway. Walking away, baby, lost your tongue somewhere, don't know what to say. Stop and run around, oh, you act like a kid. I am not your mama, just admit what you did. I got enough to do, then hang around and wait. We may to our destination here's the car the white Range Rover Velar look how nice she is and it's a sports version it's very fast right so now I think I'm going to have a picnic I'm gonna go find everyone to grow up and be responsible daylight all of the uv and we don't want that to impact you know on that beautiful sort of kind of lush sort of kind of skin cell and then by 6 p.m it's all then starting to warm up again so we are just about to throw some i don't know what they are arrows axes i'm gonna axes that's some wood because our reactions are faster right now so yeah we're gonna try and hit it Oh, 
Okay, so you flew sort of from your from your elbow. Almost, almost. Hey. So, so close, so far. I think that's my forte. I don't think I'm good at dagger throw, but I found it. <laughs> we won that shit with like Ty from Red. We did not actually plan this. But yeah, I don't think that's my forte. So far, so good. I'm not feeling ill. Yay! I'm so happy. I don't know what we're doing now. I think we've got some free time, so I might do some exploring. Just checked into the room. Look how pretty this is. And this is why we're here, powered by flowers. Getting our skin in sync. Peptide, thousand flower mask. Yes, I've got a facial soon actually. Eye recovery cream and cream oil. And then look at these flowers. They even gave Matt a little pack for men, which is like a male survival kit. So he's got some foaming shaving gel. He's got a deep facial wash. He's got his favorite magazine, GQ. He's got some popcorn. What else? Jelly Belly, smooth shave cream. Oh, there's a gym downstairs, by the way. Yeah. Eye Reviver, and a pool. Well, I've got any, I'm a swim shirt. I didn't, as well as pool you can go in as well. I didn't bring any. Energizing Skin Scrub and Pro Collagen Marine Cream. I don't think you've, you've used the Elemis Sports range because my because Mike, because Mike, you and Adam love it in the house for in the bath, but I don't think you've actually used any of the facial range. I've got new stuff to uh, have this sort of some snacks. Well, I mean, uh, they give me some crisps as well, but I didn't wait around for you. They're pretty much gone already. Oh, I love that you got a little male survival kit. Well. How nice yeah. is that? Sort of me right out. I know that is so lovely. Right, should we go get our bags? Just had a little lay down so i don't think i'm 100 percent i think standing up has probably like taken out of me a little bit so i'm now being treated to a facial which has come at the perfect time look at this i'm in this amazing room about to have this facial which is amazing using the new elemis products so what are we using so these are the products we're using how exciting i've never used this so excited here i am fresh faced relaxed my skin at the moment is not the happiest pre that facial. I think it's just because I'm due on, so I've got like a few little pimples, but apart from that, glowing and nice. I feel a bit dizzy, a little bit of a headache. Look at that glow. That is the Elemis glow. The lady that did my facial was amazing as well. Um, so I'm gonna put some gym kit on. I'm gonna try do yoga, but I reckon it'll be more like chilled yoga. And then, if I'm not feeling too good, I can just sleep on the grass. Through the heart centre. Do this one more time with the eyes open, breathing in. Like you're offering a piece of your heart in your palms. Exhaling, spreading like wings of the bird. Mm -hmm. Inhale, lifting high to the sky, taking up space. And as you exhale, softening everything. Bring the eyes to close, we'll, come, we'll do this again twice. downward dog didn't kill me my stomach is hurting a bit but I do think I'm better touch wood touch wood touch wood I'm wearing this the theme for dinner is floral so I bought this what do we think I might not actually wear this I might just go get a quick pick in it outside because I feel like even though I bought it a few days ago I have actually worn it quite a lot since I wore it for dinner for Matt's birthday I really like it I just feel like it's a bit daytime I shrug and dinner ish but the theme was floral I will link it below so I'm gonna go take Matt to explore a little bit before I get ready for dinner. Okay, 
and getting ready for dinner now. This is the second dress option also. So this is my little travel bag from Space NK. And look, you can see my Elevis Pro Collagen Cleansing Balm is already in there, my mini one. My Neutrogena Hydro Boost. Also, this is a new, really good Estee Lauder Flawless Primer. And look, now I've got a refill of the Pro Collagen Cleansing Balm. Proof, because this one, wait for it. Because this mini is perfect for travel and it's nearly gone. And this is my Elemis travel bag as well. Very well equipped. Okay, I'm going for this one. Floral themed and comfortable. Can I have something non-alcoholic as well, please? Yeah. I am, um, oh my God, they've got um, thingy ice cubes in. So I'm just taking my makeup off. We just went and toasted the marshmallows, which is a flame you saw, which is just amazing. I always feel so pinch me to be invited to these things. Just wish I felt 100%. Um, so everyone else having drinks and I am just all cozied up because I think Ellen must have agreed with me that skin sync is important. So we were basically, I met found as like fangirl moment. I've been using Elemis for a long time and I'm just like, oh my god, the founders are here. They literally invented Elemis. I didn't realise, but Elemis is made in Somerset in the UK. So it's like a UK brand, which is amazing. And um, they are very much about well-being, which is why I just love them even more. So it's been nice to get to know the brand more because it's a brand I've used for years. You assume these brands are all very corporate, and actually there are real people behind it with our interests at heart. So I'm going to take my makeup off. Yeah, girl, you're so overwhelming. You're like a song to which my heartbeat is playing Like oh na na, oh na na, yeah Ow. Do you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to fill up my mini one with some of the big one Purely because this mini is so 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 good for travel And I want it to be full of all that Elemis goodness Yes, although it feels wrong doing this, ruining the gorgeous balm. Yeah, you are coming with me. Seeing as I live in different hotels every night, that is perfect. Okay, if you guys haven't used this pro collagen cleansing balm, why do you mean? It's so good. It's like a lazy girl guide to makeup removal. Gonna use peptide for night recovery cream oil, which is what we've been learning about. It smells so good. This is gonna support my skin's natural repair and renewal as I go to sleep. So good night, guys. See you in the morning. Just woken up, glowing skin. Although I'm not feeling. 100% I was actually okay yesterday I think but then maybe just did a bit too much and now Matt is really not well so I think maybe it is the no is it called novo virus don't think you can hear me novo virus novo virus I think it's called yeah so maybe I transferred that to Matt by accident which is not cool and not what I wanted to do but hey guys look on the bright side at least my skin is glowing. This is the most moangy vlog ever. Um, but yeah, today we're actually doing some stuff at a theme park, which is like three hours away from here. And I don't actually know how we're gonna get there. Obviously we have the amazing, amazing Range Rover, but I mean, because we are not feeling our best and kind of the better out of the two today, but definitely not 100%. I've got a bit of a headache. So yeah, gonna get ready, take it easy, drink some water, and I need to go and have some breakfast. I actually have an appetite today. I'm 
both feeling a little worse for wear. Matt, a lot worse than I am. Just getting in the villa from Stratstone. So beautiful. We might feel sick, but at least we are traveling in style. Oh my God, I've just realized it's got rose gold on it. Oh my God, this was made for me. Always ends up being a disaster, although at least we have been traveling in style. Look at that bad boy! So, we have been on the road for six hours. We set off this morning at like half past ten. Both feeling worse for wear, and the traffic has just been gridlocked the whole way. So, yeah, six hours later, we still haven't actually made it to our destination. And the place we we're meant to be going to, we actually had planned this really nice fun day, which we're obviously too ill to do, but we'd had tickets booked, so we were gonna go and try big mistake so we've had to book a hotel nearby because Matt's knackered I'm knackered and I actually have an appetite now so I have just ordered a Nando's to go and collect because I'm hungry Matt's not hungry he's at the non-hunger stage I was at earlier this week but he's gonna try and have the chip if in doubt get a Nando's but at least we've had like the smoothest most comfortable ride that's one thing I'd say about the Velar it's so comfortable and this is why we want one <laughs> I kept trying to put this, come on, focus, into the payment machine and it's a 25 cents. So that's where my head's at today. I am not there, guys, with the sensibility today. We made it. We are in. Well, we didn't make it. We just drove down the road for Nando's. I can't take out Nando's. We're in Surrey, actually, a place called... Epsom, I think that's how you pronounce it. Is it done like Ep said like Epsom salts, which I actually use a lot in the bath. Um, Elemis let me steal some flowers. Look how good they look in the Range Rover. Pleased to say that I'm feeling good. Man is not feeling good. I don't know if I showed you guys earlier, but look at this. So this Velar has rose gold on it. Can you see that? So it's white with rose gold straps only. Do you guys do this on purpose because you know I love rose gold? Because oh my god, as if I didn't want this car enough already. It's seen us through a six hour hellish journey where we've both been ill, we've both been comfortable. I've been able to put my heated seat on while Matt's had no heat on. It's just epic. So yeah, we're in the blissful place of Surrey, accidentally, to, so that we can actually rest and get some sleep. So I'm gonna go and demolish this Nando's. It feels so good to have an appetite. Can't explain. Bye, Range Rover, for like uh, 24 hours. I got a Calippo for my dessert. We got some Barocca for Matt because my mum said paracetamols aren't good for when you feel like this. But energised vitamins are, so let's see. I got lemon and herb, burger, chicken. I got creamy mash, peri peri chips and olives and I'm going to absolutely demolish this. Hey guys, so it's very late now. I am looking very worse for wear, but skin is still glowing through. So I'm just sat on my laptop. Um, I've actually just spent the last like five hours editing vlogs. I've got a weekly vlog from last week with Matt's birthday so that you guys haven't seen yet. And then this week that's just gone. So I just need to add this clip in and then we're ready. It's actually a lot shorter than usual. And it's because we had this really cute date day planned today, which obviously I didn't end up filming um, and didn't end up going ahead. Matt's like really ill, he's in bed, so I'm being quiet and I feel a horrible that's something on the butt. He was ill when we went to the Amani event the week before, so we're actually wondering if he had like a little onset of it, passed it to me, then we passed it back. I don't know. Um, but I feel grateful that I feel better and I said to Matt, you're really like appreciate your health when you do get better and when you get your appetite back and I don't know when I get ill it always makes me like really grateful in a weird way and it got me thinking about my friend Dean 
who sadly lost his life to cancer and I was thinking like how harsh chemotherapy and stuff was on him and then that just kind of like makes me be like you know like was so I'm so grateful to have my health and that kind of stuff but that's a really deep conversation for another day I'm trying to see the positives and I always think like life could be so much worse and yes this has been a bit of a moany vlog and I was very sick but not sick in comparison to some people who are like ill every single day and um yeah I actually have a scan on Sunday at the hospital which I'm really really scared about and like have the worst health anxiety ever so I'm praying that it's nothing serious and that I can like vlog on Monday and be like guys I'm fine but yeah I get myself really worked up so hopefully we're gonna wake up refreshed in this random hotel both feeling a lot better um 100% I really hope my wakes up feeling good and great and then yeah um and then we will drive home in our amazing Range Rover I'm kind of annoyed because I want to show you the car a bit more as well um I know I've put it on Insta stories quite a lot but just because the day we picked it up I was so unwell and then the day that we drove was when I was like being sick everywhere I just couldn't physically film but hopefully you guys have seen like it's amazing it's spacious you can go on such long journeys in it it's the second time we've had a villa now and oh my god like we want to buy one we love it and strap zone always do the best service i have bought cars from strap zone for the last my last two cars so that will be for the last six years so yeah i'm a very loyal loyal fan and it's just so nice that they've helped us out with the comfort this week but um we're still gonna have it tomorrow which is gonna be amazing because we have like probably four hours it's gonna take us to get home from here and comfort in that car it's just exceptional very good car to travel in very good car to drive in and you can even get rose gold on it who knew so come say hi on instagram at mchillx let me know if you are watching this video there'll be another video live on sunday i think it's a come to the gym with me so some workouts which i'm excited to share and yeah love you guys so much thanks for bearing with me when i've been a bit of a negative nelly this week i do like to think smooth sea never made a skilled sailor and rainy days make flowers and my skin is just so glowy unless that's just sweat i don't know maybe that's just what illness does for you <laughs> good night guys love you lots